everyone welcome to the channel so in this video i'm gonna show you how to create a drainage density map using arcgis pro so now let's get started so now to prepare a drainage density map now let me show you the layers in the table of content section here the first layer here represents my study area and the second layer represents our srtm dem that is a digital elevation model model and this particular data can be downloaded from usgs earth explorer the link will be given in the description please check this out so now to uh, we can start preparing our drainage density map so we're gonna use a series of tool to uh, to create our drainage density map so go to this option called view section in that we're gonna click this option called geoprocessing so the uh, window opens up, opens up saying uh, geoprocessing so here we're gonna click we're gonna enter a tool called uh, fill now let me enter that and now here you can able to visualize the first tool called fill the spatial analysis tool we're gonna click this tool here so let me click this tool. So let me input my SRTM dem. So this is my SRTM dem data. So let me click that. And now you can choose your output file location, the output raster, uh, output surface raster. And then now let me select my output file location. And now I have entered as fill and click save. So once you have saved it, click the uh, click this option called run. And make sure that you give uh, the last as a fill dot tif tiff. Make sure that you give the file format as a dot tiff tif. And now our fill layer is available in our table of content section here. Now let me turn this off here. So once you have applied your fill tool, now next step we're gonna move on to this tool called the flow direction. So now let me enter as flow direction. So now I have entered as flow direction. Now click the first tool called flow direction spatial analyst. So in this, we're going to insert our surface raster that is our fill. Now choose your output uh, file location. So now let me click this. And make sure that you enter as .tif diff and click save. So once you did that, leave the rest of the things as the default and click this option called run. And now we have our result flow direction raster is available in our table of content section here and now let us uh, move on to the next tool that is flow accumulation now let me enter as flow accumulation and now here we have our flow accumulation uh, tool here spatial analyst click this now insert your flow direction raster so now insert our flow direction raster here and choose your output flow accumulation raster file location here now let me select my output folder location and now have entered as flow accumulation dot tiff and click save so once you have selected your output file location you can leave the rest as in default and now click this option called click this option called run and now we have our flow di flow accumulation raster in our table of content section here so now we're going to move on to the next two that is raster calculator so now let me enter as raster calculator so once you have entered as raster calculator, click this option called uh, raster calculator spatial analyst. So now let me click this tool. So once you have uh, clicked the raster calculator here, we have four set of layers. So in this, we're going to uh, select this particular layer called flow accumulation. So now let me double click this. So once you did that, so now we're going to enter uh, that is a uh, flow accumulation greater than greater than 3000. So now let me uh, select this greater than and uh, let me enter the value as 10,000 here we're going to enter the value as a flow accumulation greater than 10,000 so now choose your output file location now click this now let me enter the name so I have entered the name as raster calculator 10,000 dot tiff and click save and once you did that we're going to click this option called run So now we have uh, the streamlines of this particular study area and uh, let me explain about this particular value, the 10,000. So the reason why you might apply this threshold value for the raster, uh, in the raster calculator tool for flow accumulation greater than 10,000 for stream network identification. So in hydrological analysis, area with the higher flow accumulation values are indicative of stream channels. So applying a threshold helps to identify the mainstream channel 
by excluding the smaller or less significant streams or we can, or also we can also call it as flow paths so higher thresholds like uh, 3000 or even the 1000 or 10000 could retain only the more prominent streams in the analysis so for that we are applying the threshold value of 10000 so lower the value has a higher streams and the higher the value has a lower streams with the uh, representing the prominent streams and the second reason is for delineating watershed boundaries so when delineating watershed boundaries the flow accumulation threshold can be applied to identify the area where the drainage density is significant in, enough to consider the part of the watershed so higher threshold helps to filter out the smaller drainage area and focuses on major contributing area so now let me get back to our rgs pro so here we can uh, able to visualize the many stream lines have been uh, visible here so now let us extract the streamline so for that we're going to navigate to this tool called raster to polyline so here click this first tool called raster to polyline that is available in conversion tools so now let me click this tool so here we're going to input raster will be our raster calculator 10000 and the field value uh, the field will be value and output polyline feature now you have to choose your output file location now let me select my output file location and now I have entered as RAS to polyline so now click save so once you did that we can click this option called run and now we have uh, converted to raster to polyline so you can able to clearly visualize the streamlines here so uh, let me turn this layer off here so you can clearly able to view the streamlines now and now let me show you my steady area boundary here so this is my steady area boundary so i'm going to clip this portion of this uh, streamlines using my steady area boundary so for that we're gonna uh, go to the search section and uh, enter as clip so you can either enter in the search section as clip or you can go to the navigate to this option called toolbox so in that we're gonna navigate to this tool called analysis tool so in that we're gonna click this tool called clip so now the input feature will be our uh, the raster to polyline and the clip feature the clip feature will be our study area selection now choose your output file location and now have entered as study area yes here represents study area streamline now click save so once you did that we can apply this option called run and now we have our uh, streamline sa streamline now let me turn this off and let me turn off the other layers here and now here you can clearly able to visualize here so now we're gonna move on to calculate our drainage density so for that so we're gonna enter in the geoprocessing uh, processing section as a line density now let me let me enter as line density so once you entered line density the tool will be uh, uh, you can able to visualize it line density spatial analysis tool so now let me click this so the input polyline feature it is our SA streamline and now choose your output file location the output raster and now I have entered as drainage density dot tiff so click save so once you did that we can move on to this option called area units so in that you can select your uh, required units so now we're gonna select square kilometers and now once you did that we're gonna click this option called run and now we have our drainage density map now let me turn this over the study area so you can clearly able to visualize here this is our drainage density of the study region so now you can able to visualize it so we have successfully completed our prepared our drainage density so now we're gonna click this layer drainage density right tick and we're gonna click this option called symbology and now in the symbology we can reduce the number of classes uh, to be around uh, phi and now uh, let me select the color scheme here the color scheme let me select some color scheme here now let me select this so now here you can able to visualize uh, here the highest uh, drainage density being indicated in red color and the lowest drainage density is indicated in the dark uh, dark green color suppose you want to draw you want your drainage density to be within your study area boundary 
So for that, we're going to navigate to this geoprocessing tool again. So in that, let me make some changes here. So I have rented as range density one. So now we're going to move on to this option called environments. So in that, now in that, in the processing extent, you can uh, click this option called, uh, uh, you can select your study area boundary here, the study area selection. This is my study area boundary. So in the next, in the raster analysis section, you can uh, navigate to this option called uh, in mask. So in that, we're going to click this option called uh, study area selection. So once you did that, we're going to navigate to the parameter section. So make sure that you select your units. And now let me run this again. And now we can able to visualize the result. Let me turn this off here. And let me right click this result and click this option called symbology. So here, let me reduce the number of classes to be around five. And now let me select my color scheme. So I'm going to select this particular color scheme here. So and now you can able to visualize the result here. So here you can able to visualize this is our layer. So the highest drainage density is being marked in red color and the lowest drainage density is indicated in green color. So highest level of drainage density being observed in this part of the region. So the red color indicates that. So in this way, you can able to prepare your drainage density. So using our streamline, we have used generated using our SRTM dem. So in this video, I have shown you how to create a drainage density map in RGIS Pro. So thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.